the friends. I'm at Walmart because this week I'm challenging myself to see if I can go in and buy a whole week's worth of groceries for only $20 in Canada. So let's go in and see how I do. I am back. And let me say, with inflation going bahinga right now, which means crazy, it was a lot harder than I thought, but considering that prices for food is like the highest it's ever been all over the world right now, I actually did pretty darn good. So this is what I bought. Carrots, 94 cents for 1.36 kilograms or for three pounds. A dozen eggs, the Great Value brand, $3.68. Macaroni noodles. $1.97 for 900 grams. Seven bananas, I got one for each day of the week, no more, no less. Uh, $1.62 for seven bananas. Then I got a package of 12 chicken hot dogs, the Great Value brand, and they were $1.97. Then I got two cans of Great Value tomato basil pasta sauce. They were $1.77 each. And then here's a little trick. I wanted some dairy because I'm trying to, within my limit of $20, I was trying to get a pretty good balance of nutrients because this is for one person for a week and I wanted to make sure, even with limited food and money, that I was still eating a, you know, a balanced, nutritious diet. I wanted some yogurt. I checked the whole yogurt aisle and it, it was pretty expensive. But what I learned is if you look in the halal section, the halal plain yogurt is really cheap. For Canada, this was $1.94 and I'll be able to divide it up for seven days worth and actually get, you know, some dairy in, in my diet. So I was pretty impressed with that. And then this loaf of bread, the great value. I chose whole wheat because again, I'm trying to get the most nutritious food for my money and whole wheat just helps me feel fuller longer. $1.97 and then a bag of quick oats, the great value kind, and that was $2.47. So I went in with a $20 bill, drum roll please, blah, 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 blah. and the total was $20.10. Pretty darn good. Now, I've, I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years, and I've developed skills over that time that allows me to sort of pick the basics and get the most nutritious things to still fit in my daily, you know, calories, because I do eat in a calorie deficit most of the time so that I can stay lean or get lean or just meet my goals. And this will definitely you know, if I had to survive on only $20 a week, I could definitely do it. There's enough food here that I won't go hungry and I'll be able to get, you know, at least three meals and probably one snack per day out of this for an entire week. And if you wanna see like how I put together a meal plan with this food, be sure to stay tuned or so, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will be doing a meal plan with this and you'll get to see like kind of how I balance out the nutrients and the portion sizes that I use for it. No matter what, I learned, even though it was kind of tricky, I added stuff to the cart in my list, I pulled it out, I figured it out. So even if you were really limited in money, and this is $20 Canada, so if you're in the US, it, you know, it might be uh, a bit different for you, but to eat for a week off $20 in Canada right now, that is amazing. So no matter how small your money is, you there is a way, if you look around at the prices and go to like somewhere cheap like Walmart, there is a way to, you know, at least survive with the money that you have and choose fairly nutritious food. Eggs was one of the first things, and my husband has lost the same amount of weight and he was with me, sassy. Um, eggs was one of the first things we chose because even with the prices being high, they're still very, cheap for you know Canada and they're really nutritious with the yolk and everything and good protein so the reason we went 
for the eggs is because it's a whole food. It's got the good healthy fats in the yolk, it's got the good protein in the whites, and the eggs have been a staple since the very beginning of our weight loss. We also went for oats because that was another staple, and a bag of oats will last forever because a little amount when you cook it with water it really gives you volume so you can really stretch your dollar with oats and so this like, has been another staple some things in our week here for one person these will be gone after the week but the oats won't be yeah the oats will last um but like you know bananas are also really good full of nutrients and they're like one of the tr cheapest fruits that we could find at the store and um like one banana is pretty big so it will last you good it will feel feel your stomach and also like macaroni noodles you know again this will really stretch the dollar and we like having a big balance we include carbs we've ate carbs the entire weight loss carrots are super cheap and if you buy these and you just um shred what do you call that Gr grate them peel them you <laughs> peel them yourself and chop them up and store them in water in your fridge they last a long time and this is going to be really good for the week like super cheap good veg carrots have good nutrients this was a super cheap protein. Meat is very, very expensive right now, as I'm sure you guys are all aware. So to find something like a chicken hot dog with some decent protein in it, that was like two bucks for meat, pretty good. Pasta sauce, believe it or not, like this is tomatoes. So you've got some tomatoes right there, some healthy items in the pasta sauce. And then we got the whole wheat bread just because the whole wheat, it does have more fiber in it, so it will help you feel fuller longer. And when you're stretching your budget, doing you know those little tricks like that um, will help you feel fuller longer on a small budget like this. If you have some spare money set aside and you are interested in exactly what I ate to lose the weight, exact meals and portions, I do have weight loss eBooks. Obviously the food comes first. This would just be a bonus. You can look at the links down below and use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I also am sponsored by HTLT Sups. I like to call it Huddled. You can use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off there. They just got a brand new Seco bar in. So the raspberry cheesecake flavor. And we tried these yesterday and they're really delicious. If you want, you can get yourself some of these cute bubbas and they also have a ton of other flavors and that's it again stay tuned because i'm making a meal plan with this and don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications when it comes out and then watch this vid and this vid to see how i enjoyed my fun life how i enjoyed my life ate my food loved it and lost the weight and kept it off and be like this all day happy <laughs> I love you. Thanks for watching. I'm Come. editing all that. No, no, no. All they that, love it. All that weird stuff is it's gone. Sassy, they love it. And then, and <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. Sassy and I sat down together and went online and did a little bit of pre-planning to have a game plan before we went into the grocery store. That way we kind of had an idea of what the cheapest items were and it allowed us to get the best like um, bang for your buck, so to speak, because we chose the most nutritious and cheapest items. This is literally plain Jane, but if you only have 20 bucks, you can do it. And this is proof. All right, cuties, take it easy. Lemon squeezy, that's not a thing. Love ya, catch ya in the next vid. Peace, cuties. See ya. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.